I was kind of amazed Layola to read that you wrote like a 50 page biography of the oh character. Oh God. <laughs> I always read that now and go, why did I tell people that? <laughs> it's like so embarrassing. It just makes me feel like, you know, like I'm just being such the thespian. I did that for one film because I was terrified to work with Meryl Streep. And I just didn't understand the character. And I just always find that when you don't understand your, your character, you do more mm -hmm. to try to do that investigative work because acting is about problem solving, you know? But I don't do that with every character. I, mm -hmm. I don't have a method. I don't have a way of working. Yeah. It changes with every project, you know? With the help, I was in Mississippi for a month. Mm -hmm. And if you've ever been to Mississippi, you know you have to be in Mississippi to shoot that movie. Mm -hmm. It's another character in and of itself. Yeah. There's the rest of America, and then there's Mississippi. So as soon as you, you know, you arrive there, your head gets, you goes down. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah. the past has arrived, you know? Yeah. So it was less work for Abilene mm -hmm. in terms of writing things down and much right. more feeling the environment, you know? But yeah. Michael, you wrote down a biography for Magneto, no? Yeah. The X -Men movie? I mean, I kind of do it sort of for Every character? Well, yeah, I mean, if it's a fictional character, you know, and if obviously if it's sort of, you know, somebody that actually existed, there's, the information is there. But uh, yeah, I just tend to do it, and I think it's, you know, sort of um, to do with, I guess, just sort of having more confidence, you know, um, going into it on the day, sort of having an idea. Uh, but really, you know, uh, the only preparation I, I, I do is just reading the script. I read it over yes. and over and over Absolutely. and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Sort of that's really kind of where the bulk of it goes in. I try and read it as, as many times as I can, you know. It's nice to hear that, that, you know, sometimes you have to just kind of try not to control it, you know. There's, there isn't no guarantee when you show up. And, and I like what you said, you know, you do all the work, you do everything that kind of feels right, and then you hope to kind of show up and just let it happen. Mm -hmm. You know, the last thing, I mean, for me, my greatest fear is that I show up and I start doing things. Like that's that terrifies me. Like when I'm, when I can feel myself doing things, it's there's this amazing thing that can happen sometimes, mm. where um, you're not doing anything. It's just happening, and that's kind of when it, you feel it's under your skin. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by doing things? Like mm -hmm. you have an awareness. You're trying. You know, I don't know things. how else to yep. say. Yeah, you you do the scene and mm -hmm. you're aware you of your mouth or you're aware moment. of. You're aware of uh, making choices, I mm. guess, of doing You're things. You're imposing your choices onto yep. this. Or point. adding something to try and fill in. And I mean, don't you think that oftentimes if, if actors are cast correctly, if you're in the right role, it, it suddenly becomes an infinitely easier process mm -hmm. to do mm -hmm. and that Absolutely. you don't, the work suddenly then becomes about the less you do or the, you know, taking Absolutely. away things. Yeah, and, and, Absolutely. and, the, and, the, and that's where you find the best director. Because yeah. mm -hmm. the best director is no one. That, that's half the battle. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Cast. At least and then, them. then they're comfortable. Their job is almost over. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I watch your performance and I can't imagine you doing that with someone that you didn't feel comfortable with, Steve or your, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's the, just a different experience and, and, it's, and it's incredible when you get that, when you yeah. get to work with people who, yeah. you know, do that. Yeah. And that's the thing with acting that people don't understand. The, the discomfort is the comfort. Mm -hmm. And that's what most actors, they don't want to feel uncomfortable. And when you kind of allow yourself to be in the moment and be surprised, because there's no way you can predict who your character is. Just like you can't predict who you are, uh -huh. you know, at any given time. You don't know what, it, you know, how you're going to react to any given circumstance. But in order to be in the moment and let yourself be loose, you have to be brave enough to be uncomfortable and not judge a moment. And, you know, actors have the most fragile egos, so we're judging everything, mm -hmm. you know, because we want to be great. We want everyone to notice us. So I, I've always, you know, my whole thing is <coughs> I feel sometimes I'm, when I'm uncomfortable, is it a good thing or am I uncomfortable because the scene is not working? <laughs> Should I stop it? Should I be okay with whatever comes out of my mouth here? It's a constant, you know, uh, uh, evaluation of that, yeah.